so I would like to assemble the rear oil seal for the final drive this is the oil seal it is new this is the cover I have cleaned and paint and these are the bolts I I will use brass bolts be only because I did not find the uh, I did not found the uh, steel bolts like this one on this dimension I, I have only found this uh, brass bolt originally are from uh, steel but uh, <coughs> we don't have uh, forces uh, around this oil seal so this uh, brass uh, bolts will be just fine with no problem i will just put a drop of uh, loctite in order to seal the thread and to be sure that will be secured in the in the housing This is the rubber damper for the transmission and uh, it connects the gearbox with the drive shaft. This side is for the gearbox and this side with three bolts it is for the drive shaft. These are the bolts. They are new, they are nicely made. And this is the nut which is tightening the rubber damper on the gearbox also here we have a taper you will see on the axle of the gearbox the rubber damper it is looking good we have good threads good taper and good uh, channel for the key for the locking key so we just have to, to assemble So now I have to assemble the drive shaft. I have made already made the the test on the bike in order to measure if the shaft drive has the correct uh, length and uh, also if the shaft drive it is aligned with the rear drive and the gearbox. And uh, it is all okay as you have seen in the picture before. And uh, these are the parts as you know this part it is a coupling uh, part and it fits here but there are no spline this it is entering here pressed but with some uh, heat and uh, this way when uh, this part will cool down it will tight very strong on the shaft and this way it will not rotate on the shaft this was the system in those years here in the front it is the same system but uh, it was not disassembled and now we have to, to assemble this part before assembling this part we have to to put all the parts before this this is the rubber for the dust protection this is a flange we have the seal and this oil seal it is with this tension spring towards the rear drive so not the other way another flange have a gasket this is made by me and this housing so you put all these parts before in the correct position 
and after that we have to heat and press this part. I have this stopper here and it's exactly up to centimeters. You can see inside. Like I said before, I have cooled the, the shaft with the ice and I have heat up pretty well uh, this component, this uh, part. So now we have to let it cool down. Do not put this under the water because you'll ruin all the work. Uh, you might uh, change the treatment of the of the material and uh, ruin this part. So you have to let to, to cool down by himself. Now we are ready to assemble the drive shaft on the rear drive. It is something uh, simple nothing complicated you just have to push the housing here inside i mean this area to go inside and uh, put the two nuts also i will use this compound for sealing uh, the gasket and this is uh, quite easy as you can see now it is assembled and we see the compound which is going out this is wiped already by me but look in this way so we have a good ceiling so uh, i have managed to solve the problem with the rear bearing and uh, by that i mean all the system we have a new rear axle 
So remember from, from the first video or second one, we did not have the, the original axle. It was uh, something improvised and now we have this new axle. This is the main bush and these are the nuts. These were made by a turner from the original from the original specs. I have found on forum the original shape of the nuts, also the dimensions. And uh, this way we were, we were able to do the nut exactly according to the original. This bush has 49 mm long, 24 exterior diameter and 17 interior diameter. The nuts have a hexagon of 27 millimeter and the thread it is 14 with uh, 1.5 millimeter thread this is the bearing carrier it is original we had also an uh, aftermarket one complete with all the bushes but uh, this one it fits better uh, on the frame this is a gasket made by me i have put this gasket because i want to protect the the paint on the frame and i have put this gasket with uh, grease original nut also we have the cover Inside we have the bearing and after the bearing we have a cover that we have to press inside. Also here inside we have a felt seal. Also here in this area. These two bushes were missing and I have made another ones. They act like a, like a spacer and also uh, it is ensuring the ceiling here on the felt seal. As you can see, it is already refined. This I have to finish. They are not made by, made by me. And uh, also I have given to the turner some uh, bigger dimensions. For example, this edge here is thicker than it, than, uh, it has to be. But uh, I was knowing this, uh, this problem. And I also have uh, my lathe and I will rectify this thickness. As you can see, the thickness of the spacer must be below this edge here. And I have already done that with this spacer, which it goes in the, in the carrier inside here. And it is below this edge. This plate here, it is below this edge. So, this is finished. And I have to solve also this spacer on my lid. Have the main spacer here I 
bacteria. The bearing inside, the other spacer, and after that, the nuts. I have to continue this way until I will have this plate sub this edge here. But this is the way to do it.
Okay, now it is okay. Can use it like that. And now I will refine the little this area. Where is the ceiling area? I want to be a little polished. It is much better, but I will insist a little. Yes, now it is okay. 